Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. This unseen force, known as Signaling System 7 or SS7, acts as the backbone of our mobile communications. Like the intricate workings of a cosmic dance, SS7 orchestrates the seamless transfer of calls, texts, and data between mobile networks. It is the invisible hand that allows us to stay connected, no matter how far apart we may be. Without SS7, our mobile phones would be nothing more than expensive paperweights. Every time you make a call, send a text, or even check your voicemail, SS7 springs into action. It ensures that your messages find their way through the labyrinth of networks to reach their intended recipients. SS7 is the unsung hero of our connected world, a silent guardian of our ability to communicate. Yet, like any complex system, SS7 is not without its flaws. Beneath its surface of seamless connectivity lies a darker side, a vulnerability that has caught the attention of hackers and cybercriminals. These digital predators are constantly searching for weaknesses to exploit, and SS7, unfortunately, offers them a tempting target. In the vast digital ocean, SS7 is like a mighty ship carrying our precious cargo of communication. But even the mightiest ships can be sunk if their vulnerabilities are exploited. In the following sections, we will delve into the depths of SS7, exploring its weaknesses and the threats they pose to our privacy and security. To understand the vulnerabilities of SS7, we must first grasp its fundamental workings. Imagine a vast network of interconnected nodes, each representing a different mobile operator or network. These nodes communicate with each other using a common language, a set of protocols that dictate how information is exchanged. This language is SS7. At the heart of SS7 lies a critical component known as the Home Location Register, or HLR. The HLR is like a master database that stores information about every subscriber on a particular network. It holds your phone number, your current location, and other vital details that allow the network to route calls and messages to your device. When you make a call, your phone sends a signal to your network's mobile switching center, or MSC. The MSC then contacts the HLR of the person you're calling to determine their current location and availability. Once this information is retrieved, the MSC establishes a connection between your phone and the recipients, allowing the call to go through. This intricate dance of signals and protocols happens in the blink of an eye, seamlessly connecting us to anyone, anywhere in the world. However, the inherent trust built into SS7 is also its Achilles heel. SS7 was designed in a different era, a time when cybersecurity threats were not as prevalent or sophisticated. As a result, it lacks the robust security measures that we take for granted today. The most glaring vulnerability of SS7 lies in its lack of encryption and authentication. SS7 messages, which carry sensitive information like your location and call details, are transmitted in plain text. This means that anyone with access to the network can intercept and read these messages, just like eavesdropping on a conversation. Furthermore, SS7 does not have strong mechanisms to verify the identity of the entities communicating on the network. This lack of authentication allows malicious actors to impersonate legitimate network operators and gain unauthorized access to the system. Once inside, they can wreak havoc, intercepting calls, tracking locations, and even disrupting services. These vulnerabilities are like cracks in the foundation of a building. They may not be visible to the naked eye, but they weaken the entire structure and make it susceptible to collapse. And in the case of SS7, the consequences of such a collapse can be devastating. For hackers, SS7 vulnerabilities are a treasure trove of opportunities. Armed with readily available tools and a bit of technical know-how, they can exploit these weaknesses to carry out a wide range of attacks. Let's delve into some of the most common methods employed by these digital predators. Location tracking. By sending spoofed SS7 queries, hackers can trick networks into revealing the location of a target's phone. This information can be used for stalking, surveillance, or even planning physical attacks. Call interception. Hackers can intercept calls in real time by rerouting them through their own servers. This allows them to listen in on conversations, steal sensitive information, or even record the call for blackmail. SMS interception. Text messages, including those containing two-factor authentication codes, are also vulnerable to interception. 
By intercepting these messages, hackers can bypass security measures and gain access to online accounts. Denial of service. Hackers can flood a network with SS7 messages, overwhelming its capacity and disrupting services for legitimate users. This can be used to silence dissent, extort money, or simply cause chaos. These are just a few examples of the many ways hackers can exploit SS7 vulnerabilities. As technology advances, we can only expect these attacks to become more sophisticated and harder to detect. Section 5. Location Tracking – Turning Your Phone Against You Imagine this. You're walking down a crowded street, your smartphone tucked away in your pocket. Unbeknownst to you, a hacker sitting miles away is tracking your every move with pinpoint accuracy. This is the chilling reality of SS7-based location tracking. By exploiting SS7 vulnerabilities, hackers can send spoofed signaling messages to your network, tricking it into revealing your phone's location. They can pinpoint your whereabouts within a matter of meters, even if your GPS is turned off. This information can be used for a variety of nefarious purposes. Stalkers can track their victims' movements, criminals can plan robberies, and authoritarian regimes can monitor the activities of dissidents. The possibilities are as disturbing as they are endless. Section 6. The Invisible Eavesdropper, Intercepting Calls and Messages In an era of digital communication, our calls and messages often carry our most private thoughts, sensitive information, and confidential conversations. Yet, SS7 vulnerabilities expose these conversations to the prying ears of hackers, turning our phones into potential listening devices. By exploiting flaws in SS7's routing mechanisms, hackers can intercept calls in real time. They can listen in on conversations, record them for later use, or even inject themselves into the call, impersonating one of the parties. Text messages are equally vulnerable. Hackers can intercept SMS messages, including those containing two-factor authentication codes, giving them access to online accounts and sensitive information. This lack of security in our mobile communications is a serious threat to our privacy and security. It undermines the trust we place in these technologies and leaves us vulnerable to eavesdropping, identity theft, and other forms of cybercrime. Section 7. Real-World Consequences – High-Profile SS7 Attacks The vulnerabilities of SS7 are not theoretical. They have been exploited in the real world with alarming consequences. High-profile attacks have demonstrated the ease with which hackers can intercept calls, track locations, and steal sensitive information. In 2014, researchers revealed that a flaw in SS7 could be used to track the movements of mobile phone users worldwide. They demonstrated this by tracking the location of a German politician using only his phone number. In 2016, hackers exploited SS7 vulnerabilities to drain bank accounts in Germany. They intercepted SMS messages containing two-factor authentication codes, allowing them to bypass security measures and transfer funds. These attacks highlight the urgent need for improved security measures to protect SS7 and the millions of people who rely on it every day. Section 8. Protecting Yourself in a Vulnerable World While the responsibility for securing SS7 lies primarily with mobile network operators and governments, there are steps individuals can take to mitigate their risk. Use strong, unique passwords. Create strong, unique passwords for all your online accounts, especially those containing sensitive information. Enable two-factor authentication. Whenever possible, enable two-factor authentication for your online accounts. However, avoid using SMS-based two-factor authentication, as this method is vulnerable to SS7 attacks. Instead, opt for app-based two-factor authentication or hardware tokens. Be cautious of suspicious links and attachments. Be wary of clicking on links or opening attachments from unknown senders. These could be phishing attempts designed to steal your personal information. Keep your software updated. Regularly update your phone's operating system and apps to patch known security vulnerabilities. While these measures cannot completely eliminate the risk posed by SS7 vulnerabilities, they can significantly reduce your attack surface and make it more difficult for hackers to target you. Section 9. The Future of Mobile Security – Moving Beyond SS7 
The vulnerabilities inherent in SS7 have prompted a move towards more secure signaling protocols. One such protocol is Diameter, which offers improved security features including encryption and mutual authentication. However, migrating from SS7 to Diameter is a complex and costly undertaking. It requires significant investment from mobile network operators and coordination across the industry. Despite the challenges, the transition to more secure signaling protocols is essential for the future of mobile security. As we become increasingly reliant on mobile devices for communication, commerce, and access to information, we must ensure that the networks underpinning these technologies are secure and trustworthy. Only then can we truly embrace the full potential of the connected world, free from the fear of eavesdropping, tracking, and cyber.